for MMA. I'm Mark Elston. This is my friend Justin McCready, third degree black belt in judo. Uh, tonight, I'd like to talk about uh, starting uh, BJJ from the knees because very often when we're rolling in BJJ, you don't actually start on your feet. And um, people seem to have, you know, the, the typical response is, oh, who's gonna pull guard first? Um, but you can be a lot more proactive than that. And a lot of the things that we do in judo, a lot of the judo throws work just as well from the knees as they do from standing. So, if we're both on our knees, I like to uh, start off with, with basically what would be a, a koshi garuma. Notice that my toes are active. I believe Justin's toes are active too. Yes, how about that? Um, this is so that if you get pushed backwards, you don't end up with broken toes. So it's really important. So we're gripping up and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reach past his head here. You'll notice I'm putting all my weight forward. My elbow goes into his collarbone and my hand pulls the sleeve to my hip. And I end up in a nice case of gatami. So in slow motion, my hand is coming up elbow to his collar. This pulls to the hip. At the same time, I'm bringing my right leg forward. My knee comes forward and tip and I just sit on through into a quesa. If he has seen me do this before or decides that he doesn't want, he wants to control my arm, I'm pulling up. So this time I'm going to come up from underneath into an underhook and kazuri kesa, which is your typical side hold for jujitsu. If you prefer this, you can just start with an underhook. Um, I like going over the top, I think it's a little more natural, but as soon as I feel that pull down of the arm underneath, here, very important to reach as far as I can. I'm extending my arm over his far shoulder. Once I'm down here, I have this arm. I want to control it. So I'm not gonna leave this out. I'm weak here. I'm gonna wrap and lock it in my armpit. Now I have all sorts of attacks on both arms. This is shoulder lock, right? That's because I'm coming up under the elbow. All right, I can go to a straight arm bar. All of these nice attacks. Sometimes he won't let me bring my arm forward at all. Okay, just so here, he's being a little stiff. That's fine, I'm just gonna lift the arm and pull this one. And go right into side mount, side control. So once again, this is the key to a lot of these things, right here. He's being stiff and strong. Now in this case, notice that it's this leg that goes out. Instead of this leg coming forward, this leg comes back. Big strong pull, big strong lift, and he just tips. If his arm is really like iron and he's just holding me in place, I can't lift it, I can't pull it. Down, turn, back. And my hand, my wrist just, go, hand goes right into the crook of his elbow. This time I'm gonna pull this hand 
down in my hip. From here, trap the arm. All right, I want my knee against his head so he can't roll into me. I'm pulling up on this arm. Can you roll in? Okay, that's what's gonna happen. If you allow implosions, there's an implosion here. Otherwise, you can just move into a nice north-south position. So once again, I can't do much of anything here, but because his arm is strong, I can turn. Knee over, keep his head out of the way, trap his arm. The only thing, you'll see a lot of guys go into combat base, and as soon as I see a knee come up, I think there's my option. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go hand outside, and I'm gonna drive forward, scooping them just like that. Nice. It's almost like I'm doing an Osoto Gari with my hand. Uh, it's sort of like a knee tap, if you're familiar with wrestling. Uh, but basically, I'm driving here. I want all their weight on this leg. So as soon as I see that leg come up, I'm going to move this way. I'm driving, 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 hooking. And now I can move to my side mount. I can start doing attacks. Uh, if you're in a knee bar division, you can go straight to your uh, shin ride knee bar. <laughs> You've got all kinds of things. So this to me is just a lot of fun for people that like to play combat base. Some ideas for how to initiate uh, and get a, an immediate strong advantage if you're starting on your knees. If you like the video, please click like and subscribe to our channel, Serioku Zenyo. That means maximum efficiency. If you want the videos as soon as they are posted, just click on the bell. Thank you, Justin.